has it? I just got off the phone with Google support and I must say I'm really quite irritated. What I need to do is I need to move my images out of my Google Drive into my Google Photographs. Now, previously it was fine because it just sort of like it looked at my Google Drive, looks at my Google Photographs, and it sort of like put them all together. Now, since they've actually separated this, it doesn't work as well anymore. And I'm looking at a storage right now of 92 gigs. And with the 92 gigs, I need to now move from my Google Drive into my Google Photographs. I'm quite happy to have the unlimited storage reduced file size for my photographs because I'm not professionally printing these or anything. And what they said to me is this, you go into your photos and you push upload and you say to Google Drive, you go to my drive and then you go to Google Photos. And I said, okay, that's that's fine. But what do I now do after that? And they said, well, no, no, what you need to do is you need to select one by one, and then it will go from your Google Drive into your Google Photos. Now, I don't know about you, but I take a crumb load of photographs. So doing this is going to take a long time. And even if I push Control A here, it only does 50 at a time. So if I scroll and scroll and scroll, and then push Control A again, it's now only going to do 150. I think I have close on 20,000 photographs. So just scrolling is going to take me most of a month. So there had to be a better way. And this is what I found. This is called Malt Cloud. I assume it stands for Multi Cloud, but I'm not sure. And it has this wonderful thing under the pricing here. It has a free plan with 30 gigs per month of data. So now depending on how much data you actually want to move between your Google Drive and your Google Photographs, this should be more than enough. If not, you can pay one payment of $9.90 and you can then have everything moved if it's up to 150 gigs. I'm gonna sign up for the free plan here and they are starting with a little wizard. So let's push next and you can do this and there's the latest updates that have gone through so that's perfect so let's close that let's add clouds now we're going to say google drive is one and we're going to say google photos is the other so let's start with google drive and say next and let's add the google drive and now i want you to authenticate and log in using your gmail accounts and these are the permissions that you're going to give it if you're happy with that, push allow. Okay, so before we do the rest, let's add another cloud. And let's do Google Photos this time and push next. And let's say add. Once again, we're going to have to log in. And this is going to give permission. So let's say allow. And now we're going to do a transfer. So we're going to do a transfer from our Google Drive into Google Photos. So let's push on cloud transfer. We going to look at what directory you want to transfer from and then to what directory you do you want to go to. So let's push from them first and we want to go from our Google Drive and I have a folder in here called Google Photos. Obviously you can do a multi-selection if you wanted. You could sort of like say I want to do a couple of other folders but I'm going to just do one and I'm going to say okay and then I'm going to say two. Okay and we're going to select Google Photos and Albums push options if the destination location contains the file you can skip it overwrite it if it's older and other options here you can delete all the source files after the transfer is complete we're not going to do that right now because we're going to test it first you can keep file modification dates and you can automatically rename the files you can have an email here you can say this is your email when it's complete and you can push a filter and you can exclude certain files from being moved push save and let's push transfer now let's click on the details and what you'll see is transferring two at a time and if you want to you can upgrade to the multi-thread to make it go faster i think that's fine for right now let's come back in a couple of hours when it is done so it's been a couple of hours now and it has transferred it has transferred 10 gigs of photographs 
from my Google Drive to Google Photographs and has put it into this folder here called Google Photos. It is actually into the album called Google Photos. So if I go into my photos, there is a folder here called Google Photographs with 2,075 items in. It cost me absolutely nothing. It was very quick and much faster than the suggestion from Google of individually importing files. I suggest using multi-cloud and while you're in there, you might want to look at adding other clouds and you can see that you've got G Suite, Dropbox, OneDrive, even Mega and Mediafire. Try it out, give it a bash, and if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, then do it the individual way that Google's suggesting. While I've got you here, at Taming Tech, we are trying to put together some interesting things to tame your tech. If you have any ideas of future articles or future videos you'd like to put together, please email us on help at taming.tech. Thanks so much. See you soon.